Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and we are here for a celebration. Yes, a celebration of love between these two and what they got a chance to accomplish by being together. They produced a beautiful, beautiful young lady who happens to turn three this year. Yes, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to PJ. Happy birthday to you. One thing these two did, they made a beautiful baby girl. So we want to salute them. We want to congratulate them. Even though they did not make it as a couple, which, hey, never say never. They could get back together if they work on it. But if they're not working on it, Dennis don't want to be bothered with Portia. Then uh, let it be what it is, okay? But we do know Dennis is a very loving and doting father. He wants the best for his little girl, which he should. And it's just when he takes the pictures of PJ, she just looks so at home. She, she looks so full of rest. And even though Portia tries to do her best, which sometimes Portia best is not enough, for me or people like me um she's a good mom she's a good mom at heart and she wants to use her daughter as photo ops most of the time to let us know that she still has her baby with her even though she's jet setting this that and the third and i don't know if all that weather is good for pj child what's his name simon yes that's his name he has her on some boat i bet they're back in costa rica i bet they're back in i bet you they back in costa rica <sighs> but he's on a yacht or boat whatever dinghy might be and she's enjoying the outside weather but evidently it must be kind of cool because she got herself kind of wrapped up um in a long lounging type boat attire and she has pj wrapped in a blanket of some sort so the weather may not be so conducive for her little body so Portia we're gonna need you to do better because the child don't need to be out there catching cold and COVID out here and all this kind of stuff you going around with no mask I'm going around with no mask baby girl ain't got on no mask I don't know what the COVID ain't went nowhere COVID ain't, ain't went nowhere Okay, it's still here and it's very prevalent. And from what I understand, there's a new strand developing. But that ain't about that. We're talking about baby girl PJ. And it's her birthday. It's her day. It's her birthday. It's her day. And y'all did a very good job with bringing, along with the lower, her into the world. And definitely loving on her. Trying to guide her. And with both of you all and your aspirations that you have, I pretty much favor Dennis because he's a hard worker. He goes out there and get and solidify and cement business deals that's going to be around for PJ to decide whether she wants to start her own business or go to college. And it already be paid for. And these are the little snapshots. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she like a little princess? She's so happy. And I remember taking um, some pictures like that with my daughter when she was young. They have so many different backgrounds you could choose from. And it is so precious. And she's going to love these pictures, I hope, when she gets older. Because I'm sure Portia will have a plethora of her to go through especially when she gets in high school and she has to do her senior portraits and they want to see how she was when she was a baby she's gonna have so many pictures to choose from oh because Portia no she likes to keep her little baby girl in the picture realm photo ops all the time okay but PJ said celebrated her third birthday I don't know if she had a big blast of a party. Uh, of she didn't leak those pictures out yet. But I'm sure she had a fabulous time because she spent it with her real dad. Okay. And her mom. I don't know how they, uh, what do you call it, positioned it out or who had her on her birthday. <coughs> Excuse me. Whether it was Dennis had her. 
or was it Portia had her? But from what the optics looked like, she was with the um, two people she loved the most, which was her mom and her dad. And like I said, I love Dennis pictures with his baby girl because they just seemed so loving. And even when Portia and Dennis was together, the pictures were so lovely. You know what I'm saying? They they just looked like they the perfect couple. They the happy couple, this, that, and the third. But from what Portia said, it, she was living in turmoil. And she just could not forgive Dennis that he cheated on her while she was toting their baby in her stomach okay baby kangaroo mama kangaroo daddy kangaroo they could not get it together but hey it just is what it is Portia's gonna love on dennis as much as she can and um simon won't know anything about it because he's not in her mind and that's going to really be her G because I really think she wanted Dennis to come after her. But probably Dennis got a hold of, she was messing around with Bobo. And he was like, uh-uh, this trick got me messed up. Now she had my baby, I appreciate her, I love her for it. But uh-uh, we ain't finna go out like that. So he went his way, she went her way. And we in the mess that we are in now. In shambles. But hopefully, PJ won't suffer too much from going from house to house, from home to home, from environment to environment. And when she gets older, she can pretty much tell her mom and dad who she want to be with 24-7. So that we're gonna, we're gonna watch and see her grow. If the Lord permits. But um, I just wanted to salute both parents for doing a fantabulous job with raising their baby girl. And they didn't do it all by themselves. We got Mama Gina on Dennis' side. We got Lauren. She's in there somewhere. Which is um, Portia's sister. And we have Portia and her mom, Diane. And the crew, I should say. <laughs> because we ain't going to forget about Diane's, which is Portia's mom, boyfriend, whoever he may be. Because uh, I think he calls her, call, I think PJ calls him Papa. Now, you could tell that Diane's um, boyfriend or whoever she claims him to be in her life, uh, significant other, I guess, companion, he has really taken to pj and you can tell in the pictures that i've seen him with her it's it's cute it's cute and it's the kind of relationship you want someone to have with your daughter it just exudes love so i mean that's pretty much all i had i wanted to say you know i ain't always on porsche ass I'm really not. I want her to do the best she can with what she has. But I want her to do it for herself and not lean on a man to provide it for her. Poor she can have sense. She got good sense. Not so much that she uses it all the time. But she can do like other single moms out there. Make a way out of no way. Uh... To have more revenue streams coming in. And she can do better by herself. Than what she thinks she can have with Simon Gabadia. Okay. Because he just seems like a trick all day long. And the only thing he seems like he care about is materialistic stuff. And holding her and her daughter as trophy. Um, we call certificates or trophy wives and daughter or whatever. Just to get digs on Dennis. You know what I'm saying? And I know that'd be messing with Dennis. Because if I was a man and, you know, this other man posting my child and being with my child, that'd, 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 that'd mess with me too. Unless we had an understanding and I like the man. Now, I don't think Dennis care too much of a hell of a beans for Simon. He keeps it kosher. He keeps it cute. But when it comes to his daughter, he ain't messing with Simon in that way. And Simon better told a line very uh, strategically because I'm pretty sure... Dennis don't like him in that way. And only one thing PJ got to say to her dad is she don't like that man. Child Dennis go on and get custody and go on into the sunset and let Portia be with this man. Okay. Because right now he's whining her. He's dining her. But I don't know who's really paying for this shit. Because Portia seems like she be coming out her pocketbook more so than what he's doing over there. Alright. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying she like the jet set. She like to be where the who's who's at. But I ain't never seen Portia with the who's who. It's always with, on this particular trip, she's with her assistant Lauren and somebody else. Now, he is a billionaire, millionaire. Surely you should be rubbing elbows uh, with the women in those men's lives, Portia. But I don't see you around anybody that looks like they have money. Only thing I see is you hanging around Simon and he loves all these photo ops, okay? And I don't like the pictures that he is shown in with your daughter. But that's just me because I like, you know, the dad and the mom to really be co-parenting real well and they are loving on their child themselves now if they have someone that's been in their life for a fairly uh, good amount of time then we could see the rapport and we could see the love pouring through the pictures okay the optics are just perfect but with simon you barely knew him i think y'all are coming up on a year if we were to take what you said about when you started dating him, seeing him, being with him. I think that was around April or May. So we're coming to the one year mark. And yet you still haven't married this man. Now how does that how does that look? How does that make PJ wanna look? She don't know if she's coming or going, but she do know who her real dad is. And I'm like, he needs to be spending as much time with PJ because she's going to be growing so quickly now. When they blink, the child going to be in middle school. When they blink again, the child going to be graduating from high school. When they blink another time, she's going to be in college or holding down her own business. Okay? And they're going to be looking forward to grandkids. Okay? I'm just hoping the curse generational curse breaks with pj and she doesn't look for a man to support her i hope she goes for the gusto know thyself know where she came from because like i said i believe portia and dennis they are good stock people dennis is a very good from what i've seen and what i've heard on the streets he's a decent person when it comes to preparing and taking care of his family and his finances okay he may not be the best okay at a relationship but um it takes work even when you're married it still takes work to keep that union going because each and everybody in the relationship they change i don't know if it's a yearly change or every two years but they grow and Things that you thought you knew about that person is forming into something else. And it could be even more lucrative and uh, professionally um, building on a, a, a more well-rounded individual. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that they are slackers or they're losers or they've fallen off the map. They're not doing anything. That's some case for some men and women that do happen. But each year a person evolves into another person. And you'll get to meet, meet that new person come with each year of growth. So, hopefully they may grow back together. Uh, not necessarily for the sake of having PJ have uh, both her mother and father under one roof. But for them both to see that they could be a force to be reckoned with. And they do have a child. But if it doesn't work out, that is okay too. God is good all the time and he would take care of baby PJ and all her needs and her wants because I don't I don't think Dennis will ever leave uh, or disassociate himself with PJ. I think he's going to be a, a good staple in her life and he's going to watch her grow as he gets older. You know, uh, she's going to be still his number one girl and that's so touching and so fitting for him. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. I just want to salute Portia as well as Dennis once again for bringing such a beautiful, well-rounded little person as we see her now. And hopefully, we'll see her grow into a fantabulous, fantastic woman. Hear her roar. Okay? Compliments of Dennis McKinley and Portia Williams. Alright guys, hopefully I like this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.